Welcome back to the channel. Guys, what what a day. What, day after day. Uh, what a day. <laughs> We've hit another all-time high, guys. Uh, this morning we were above $98,000. Uh, and honestly, by the time this publishes, we could be higher. Um, dare I say. Uh, but uh, we did hit that. We hit about uh, 98, uh, 367 right here on the charts. Uh, and we've kind of the last few hours, we dropped down and now we're coming back up. We're currently sitting at 97, 615. Um, so it'll be interesting to watch this over the over the, the next day, the next few days, the next 10, 11 months. Guys, things are we're we're at that fun stage and honestly guys i say fun stage because it's that parabolic move that we make to the upside but you got to remember and i honestly i would attest to this that a lot of people say this and and i tend to agree uh that these parabolic moves in bitcoin are almost more stressful uh than than the sideways or the the bear markets especially uh the bear markets you know you kind of reach that top and you start going down and you're like okay it's here this is the bear market uh i'm gonna go do something else for a while <laughs> you know i'm not gonna be looking at the charts every two minutes on my phone uh which is always a bad idea honestly guys don't get uh don't get too crazy that that'll send your emotions uh, through the roof. But during these parabolic times, it is hard to, you know, you get so excited and you, you know, you actually have that physical like endorphin reaction to, to price going higher. And then we, we turn around and we slightly dip or we make a really big, uh, you know, um, either consolidation or, come back down and guys when we have that you know i've said this in the past but in during these parabolic moves in the past we have had several 30 percent corrections <clears throat> now think about that if we corrected uh today 30 percent we would be going back down to you know the 60s essentially think about that if you woke up tomorrow and we were heading down and we didn't stop until we hit the 60s over the next few days imagine what that feels like uh it's it it's stressful guys because one minute you are euphoric and then the next minute we're consolidating and coming back down and it's it's stressful uh, so just know that hang in there uh, when we do have things like that. Um, and another thing, guys, when that happens, I mean, even right now, the past few days on social media, X and, and uh, Facebook, <laughs> there are so many people that are actually bearish right now, uh, you know, saying that the top's in where, you know, it's going to be a bloodbath and uh, I mean, I don't know what to say. You know, a lot of people, you know, see this big move up and they're like, well, it's it's got to be over, right? And so they'll take out shorts against Bitcoin and they just lately, I mean, honestly, they've been just getting absolutely obliterated, you know, jumping on these train tracks, um, which is good. You know, you don't, you don't short this thing. That's no matter how tempting you do not short, short this, this, uh, market. It's too volatile and it's just a bad idea. It's the best, most life-changing technology that I think, uh, you know, maybe short of the internet, uh, that we've, we've probably ever seen in our lives. Um, so you just don't do it, but guys, the thing I was saying is when we do, you know, have those corrections during this complete uptrend in the market, 
um, once that starts kicking in, not only are your emotions going to suffer, but you're actually, you know, if you, if you tune into the news or especially social media on, on, uh, crypto, you are going to see the worst sentiment, uh, you know, people on, on Twitter and, you know, social media will just be absolutely, uh, destroyed and bearish and and the news will be the same you know the news will be all about oh so and so this analyst who predicted this back before is now saying that bitcoin is destined to go to zero or you know i mean that's an exaggeration but there will be a lot of bearish thud fear uncertainty and doubt in the news in the uh social media spaces everywhere when we have those those small little dips and i say small but it's it's going to be big it'll i mean it has in the past uh things may be different this time with wall street um coming in and and these etfs just non-stop swallowing things up uh but you know it's it's been huge in the past so just kind of expect that um and you know i don't know guys it it is going to be crazy uh and and the you know like i said this bull run uh these parabolic times are just super fun but super stressful so just heads up um okay so before we get into the stuff i i do want to show you some charts i do want to show you guys some news a few things here and there but um before I do, guys, I want to jump over here. This is Rory Rescue, uh, Rory Pond Rescue Ranch. These guys are the animal sanctuary that I'm kind of spotlighting this this entire month. If you guys have anything to give to these guys to help them uh, support their animals, very much appreciated and very needed, guys. These guys uh, do a lot of work and. You know, over the last few years, it's been really hard uh, for animal sanctuaries to get the funding that they need to take care of their their animals. So go over, help these guys out. It also helps you guys out when when it comes tax time. This is a tax write off um, and we all are going to need some tax write offs, guys. Uh, if you plan on taking profits anytime this this cycle or whatever. Um, we're going to need that. So go over this. Uh, the links to this are in the description of my video down below. Um, and it'll bring you to their their uh, homepage or it'll bring you to this shop to support our animals page, which will have their Amazon wish list right here. Uh, you can send them something that they need off of Amazon. You can also support them by buying uh, some of their merch. Uh, from Bonfire or Printify, or you can just donate via PayPal or Venmo. So go help them out. Very much appreciated on my end. And, uh, you know, it's a good thing to do. So go over, help them out. All right. So let's get into uh, this next tab. I've got pulled up the uh, this is the market cap for the top assets in the world guys and you can see uh we've got gold in the in the pole position uh right about 18 oh, pushing 18 trillion now which is pretty much an all-time high you know long term anyway um we've got nvidia nvidia just came out with their earnings yesterday last night uh beating expectations it looks like today they're down I don't know if if traders if those ex, uh, if beating expectations just wasn't good enough, or if it was kind of a sell the news. Who knows? Uh, then we've got Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Alphabet, which is Google, YouTube, all of them. Um, so you've got the just the you know the top tech companies in the world, and then we've got Bitcoin that is knocking on the door. Um, we did, we did pass Saudi Aramco, um, oil, uh, just maybe a week ago. 
Uh, we passed silver about that same time. We're bigger than Meta, Tesla, Berkshire Hathaway, which is uh, Warren Buffett. Um, and he's got to hate that. <laughs> old old guy that, that thinks uh, Bitcoin's rat poison squared um, is losing out to it. So uh, anyways, guys, we are really close to to flipping Alphabet and Google here. Uh, I'd be surprised if we don't do that in the next couple weeks or a month. Uh, but we'll have to see. Um, honestly, I think we could climb to number two. Um, I don't see that we're going to overtake gold this, this cycle anyway. Uh, but we could easily, you know, hit that number two spot and flip all these other companies. Um, so anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show you that we are really, really close to flipping Google. So it'll be fun to watch that happen. Um, next, this happened a couple days ago, uh, days ago, but, uh, Donald Trump's social media group in talks to buy crypto trading venue guys. This is a, a crypto exchange called backed. And the interesting thing here, guys, is, uh, you know, this is this is bullish because our new uh, new president to be coming in in uh, January. You know, it seems, you know, even I was more skeptical, especially with the comments he made at Bitcoin conference where we, he was saying, you know, we're going to be nice to these guys, at least until the election, uh, which sent up red flags in my mind. And I still have some doubts about about the guy. And guys, listen, it's not political for me. I'm not affiliated with either party. I, I can't stand either side, honestly, and I'm distrustful of both. So that's where my skepticism comes. But guys, it the point is 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 Donald Trump seems to be uh, more committed to, and probably, you know, you could argue for personal gain. That's not without saying, but, um, it seems that he's more serious and more committed to, uh, this crypto being crypto friendly than he kind of let on e even, even at Bitcoin conference, in my opinion. So, um, interesting news there guys, but, um, the real thing, guys, is I, I, I'm excited for the next year. It seems like a lot of things are just lining up, as I've been saying for, you know, probably a year and a half. You know, all these these things lining up and and figuring themselves out just lend to Bitcoin really having a terrific cycle. Um, but I do want to jump over to the charts really quick here. Um, as you can see right now, we're sitting at 97, uh, 634. We're kind of climbing back after, after the, the last four, these, these two red dots or let red candles, uh, we're on the mark of, uh, wall street opening. And I don't know why this, this does this, but it seems like quite often right on Wall Street's open, and I don't know if it's just a bunch of people like excited to uh, jump in and short uh, Bitcoin or or play the futures or what, but it seems like a lot of times um, there are some big movements either way. But the last few days, it's just been right on market. It, we drop and then it's it's over, and we come back up and and continue on. But um, but as you guys can see. Uh, I talked in my last videos ab about this pennant for formation that was forming and we did close the day. Let me jump out to the daily. Uh, we did close the day out above that resistance line right here. We closed this candle clear up above and we're just breaking out now. Um, I, I still do want to see uh, this coming Sunday out here, I want to see us close above this line. Uh, but I don't see any issues with that at this point. Now, so 
the big question is what's next? Um, and the obvious answer is this hundred thousand um, mark. It's a psychological number, six figures, going from five figures for Bitcoin into six figures. And there's probably just a lot of people that that hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin was part of their plan, price price based um, plan, right? Like I'm going to hold on to Bitcoin until a hundred thousand, and then I'm going to take some profits. Uh, which, if that's your plan, that's completely fine, guys. Um, I I still think we have a very very long way to go in this bull cycle uh, to the upside. Make no mistake about that. But I I get it. Like if that's your plan, you, you stick to your plan. Um, now, I I kind of did the same thing last last cycle. I kind of had. It wasn't a time-based, well, it kind of was a time-based um, plan, but it was also a price-based plan based on my entire portfolio. I wanted my entire portfolio to hit a certain amount uh, before I cashed out, but it was also time-based because in 2021, I started building my home. And so I, I had to start building that spring and I needed to cash out uh, at least some to get started, but luckily I did hit my price point at at the time, at almost exactly at the time I needed to, uh, and I was able to cash out. And so even though I knew it probably wasn't the top of the market, that was my plan and I was able to do it um, and and only cash out I, I actually was able to do this without cashing out any of my Ethereum or any of my Bitcoin and was happy for the rest of the, the bull run as well. So um, anyways, guys, just another thing, have a plan. If that's your plan at, at 100,000, you know, nobody's going to blame you, but we also, we do have a long ways to go. So um Anyways, the the point there, guys, was that a hundred thousand is probably going to be a a point of resistance, or a, you know, possible resistance. Now, could we just fly through it and leave it in the dust? Yeah, absolutely. That's what uh, kind of a FOMO thing is. You know, we hit a hundred thousand dollars, and people get excited. P retail finally gets excited about Bitcoin and starts coming in. And we just blow through it. You know, that could very, very well happen. Um, but that would be the next level I think we'd have to watch and, and be excited to break. Now, I do want to uh, just pull the Fibonacci's back here again. Uh, because there was a Fibonacci level, uh, I believe, right, if I can... I can't see this with the, the volume here. Let's just do this. Okay. So pulling this uh, Fibonacci from our high back in March down to this low and extending it out. If we look at that, um, actually on that Fibonacci, our next level would be right here at about 112. Um, now there is one other Fibonacci uh, level to watch, and that would be going back and pulling uh, the Fibonacci from this high back in 2022 down to our low of like 15,000. Oh, and I need to extend that out so we have a better idea, but. All right, so our high here at about 69, all the way down to 15. Okay, so let's, um, 
kind of zoom back in here. So zooming back in to where we're at right now, you can see that that first level, this guys would be uh, the, the 1.68 level uh, of that longer term Fibonacci. Uh, and we, we sit right at about 102, 103 right there. So, you know, our next levels honestly is going to be right around 100,000. Um, again, don't know if we'll do much. I wouldn't trade on this. Honestly, I wouldn't during these parabolic moves, I wouldn't trade at all. This is where you buy and you hodl. Um, it's just, it's too volatile. The, the price price moves way too quick to think that you can time certain, uh, ups and downs. Um, and this is where, you know, 95% of traders will lose or lose out on major gains that they could have had. You know, they get sidelined and they get left behind. So I'm not at all suggesting that you trade here, but this, these 100, 103 is, is a good next level to kind of watch for and see what happens there. Um, other than that, guys, let's go over the big mover today was actually this morning was ethereum i want to jump over to that chart if it'll go maybe uh but ethereum was up uh it's up right now 8.69 percent on the day bitcoin's only up uh 3.76 so ethereum has made a huge move this morning we're actually finally breaking out above these uh moving averages um now this is on this is on the daily guys and you can see we did have a golden cross back here with the uh 50 day moving average cross right above that um 100 day moving average the uh green moving above the orange line um and we've just shot up since there um let's jump out to the daily or to the the hourly and you can see just this morning it was just bam above there now let's see yeah i just looking at this uh this was a perfect perfect move it, it kind of struggled right there with those moving averages and then just dipped wicked kind of below right here and then just trampolined off of it so uh, Ethereum, you know, this morning was the big one. Actually, in the last hour or so, Solana has kind of caught up. So let's go over and look at Solana's moves. Um, yeah, we've hit Solana ha hit just this hour, um, 259. Guys, and the all-time high for Solana is, I think, 265 so we are knocking on an all-time high of solana um and that all-time high was set clear back in 2021 so solana is finally about to break into blue sky territory um it's up and man solana is moving at, at time of recording it was just up eight percent now it's up nine point three percent um so Ethereum is just taken off, guys. And that's the thing. This is another thing, guys. <laughs> Let's get into this really quick. But one thing you don't want to do, and this is why I really encourage buying and holding, because if you bought Ethereum back a year ago, Ethereum has been the lagging coin for the entire couple years now it's been the coin even though it has had its wall street moment it has just been lagging but if you were to buy in a, a year ago thinking ethereum you know might get an etf finally does and it still keeps lagging and you see coins like uh solana or sui or whatever it might be 
and you chase those gains, you trade out of Ethereum and into a different coin that's making better, better gains. That is a losing game uh, because these coins do, you know, one will be lagging and one will shoot up and then and then that other lagging one will have its moment and it'll it'll shoot up. So, you know, if you bought Ethereum, obviously not financial advice, but guys, there was times when I was like, man, I wish Ethereum was moving as much as my Solana was. Uh, I should have just maybe thrown it all into Solana, but I've I've held on to Ethereum and I do think it will have its point and it looks you know possibly it could be starting now um but guys uh solana this is solana's chart and it has caught up to what ethereum has done on the day actually they're almost exactly at the same percentage up today right now as of recording they're both sitting at about 9.2 percent on the day uh, so huge 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 gains happening in in all the top three guys um it, guys let me know if you guys want me to cover some other other coins i do have pith here uh not quite doing as well today but is is up about 2.5 percent render which is an ai play um render is a, a kind of an ai play coin what it is is it's actually a cloud compute coin where I could literally um, mine render by by basically renting out my compute power to to people who are running AI or need uh, rendering of certain things. The cool thing about render, in my opinion, is JJ Abrams is on the board. He did. I mean, he's just amazing, in my opinion. He's done some really, really cool movies, really, really cool TV shows. Uh, and I'm just kind of a fan. So I, I like render. I think with the AI narrative render will probably do really well. This, this, uh, cycle We've got ADA, which has been moving lately. Um, but not the last day or two, it's been actually trending down ADA. I used to be in ADA guys and I will always love Cardano for what it did for me last cycle, for sure. Um, I did end up trading out of ADA um, it's probably mid-2023. And the reasons I did that, the only reasons... I don't trade often, but the, only re the reason I traded out of Cardano um, last year was... I started seeing what Solana was and seeing all of the things that were built on Solana and things that I wanted to use, uh, like Helium Mobile, uh, some gaming, um, just a ton of things happening on Solana. And at the same time, it was, it was kind of my first time that I had really seen Charles Hoskinson, uh, the, the founder of of Cardano really talk and he kind of rubbed, he started rubbing me the wrong way, you know, just his attitude, um, towards other projects and, and, you know, watched a bit of the Car Cardano, uh, conference in 2023. And it just looked like a, a shit show. Um, if I'm going to be honest, um, so I traded out of Cardano, got in Solana, and it was definitely the right move. But I do believe if you are a Cardano fan, I, I do think Cardano will probably do pretty well this, this cycle. Uh, they did have some big news where they, they actually have a bridge now in place uh, to Bitcoin. And so that was like a really exciting uh, time, uh, news or um god what's the word i'm looking for uh development for the cardano chain um so that one will be i'm sure they'll do great um you know if we go down here 
let's let's just look at the dxy what's interesting guys is the dxy has been going up usually bitcoin and the dxy are inversely correlated so if the dxy goes up bitcoin usually goes down uh but the last bit both bitcoin and the dxy have been been moving up together so interesting thing there um micro strategy guys <laughs> micro strategy is absolutely ridiculous if we look back here october they were sitting at 100, 160 bucks right here in october they right here just uh today they hit a high of $534, it looks like. Um, so $150 on MicroStrategy cleared a five. I, I mean, that's like a what, three, four X, 150. Yeah, close to four times since October. So MicroStrategy and uh, Michael Saylor are just absolute geniuses for for implementing their bitcoin uh strategy their bitcoin plan um the only thing other thing guys let's look at bitcoin dominance really quick and i i really should jump out to the daily for this just to kind of give you guys a, an idea of what bitcoin dominance has been doing <laughs> for the last three years um it's just been up 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 and um zooming back in you know the last few days haven't really been much of an exception you know we've been trending up on bitcoin dominance now what this means is this uh it generally it means that um You'd be better off if it's going, if Bitcoin dominance is going up, you'd be better off invested in Bitcoin than altcoins. Uh, that's what it is. It's Bitcoin dominance over the entire crypto um, market marketplace. So Bitcoin's going up. You generally want to own Bitcoin. Um, but eventually, guys, alt, so alt season should kick in. And, and we'll see Bitcoin dominance do this, um, which doesn't go to say that Bitcoin is going to drop. It's just going to be altcoins are going to move so much faster and higher than Bitcoin's daily uh, gains will. So interesting thing, guys, we'll have to wait and kind of watch what bitcoin dominance does to kind of signal whether we we move into alt season as you guys can see the last few years we've just been riding these these uh moving averages so i would say you know once we start really seeing a drop down from from these uh supports and dropping through these um moving averages that's probably when alt so alt season will kick off. So, ah, uh, guys, exciting, exciting stuff. It's always fun to wake up and have a have a day where we're hitting new all time highs, and we've been gifted with it for you know almost the majority of the days the last few weeks. Um, but guys, leave me a comment if it, I've I've really had a lot of fun doing. Uh, videos addressing questions that you guys have um, in the comments. So if, if you guys have any questions or you want me to uh, go look at the chart of a certain coin or something, let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy to do that. It's fun. Uh, it keeps me kind of on my toes. You know, I never know what what I'll be cover covering in the next video. So if you guys have anything, let me know in the comments, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you guys in the next video.